This is Banky. She has been such a good mama for the last few weeks, but she's getting ready to to start being a regular chicken again and stop being a mama. And I gotta tell you, I love raising baby chicks inside in a brooder. I love that because they end up so tame. But sometimes I'm like, why am I doing all this work when I can get a hen to do it for me? What in the world? Oh my gosh, they're being so loud. Okay, thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome to Chickenlandia. My name is Dahlia. I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life. And I wanna help you find that too. <laughs> it doesn't seem very peaceful back here today, but it really is. And I actually love this sound. Somebody just laid an egg and they're very happy. I'm happy for you too. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down. You can go hang out with your babies, okay? I don't think there's anything more adorable than coming out into your chicken yard and you see a mother hen with little baby chicks in tow, and it's just so cute. I absolutely love that. But do not get me wrong. I also love raising baby chicks in a brooder, especially if I want them to be tame. And those chickens end up, some of my favorite chickens, they really are, uh, you know, very friendly when you raise them that way. All that being said, you know, aside from the advantage of having a mother hen do all the work for you, there are some health advantages too for baby chicks when they are raised as naturally as possible with their mother hen. So even though baby chicks that are hatched out by a mama hen, they are taken out to the chicken yard. I mean, as soon as they fluff up, she will take them out into the chicken yard and they will be exposed to all kinds of things, like all the microbes in the soil, the bacteria, the protozoa, the fungi, all that stuff. But even so, it does seem like the chicks that are raised this way are just, oh my gosh, it's so windy. <laughs> Oh God, don't blow away. But even so, it does seem like those baby chicks are just more resilient. And I really think that has to do with not just early exposure to all the things in their environment and they develop immunity to that, but also there's just something about that natural experience I think is good for their health. And there's probably things happening, you know, in that experience that we don't completely understand that are very good for baby chicks and adult chickens. So there are two ways that you can have a mother hen raise baby chicks. You can either have her hatch out eggs, eggs that you have purchased somewhere else, you know, fertilized eggs that you've purchased from somewhere else, or fertilize eggs from your own flock, or you can take very young baby chicks, preferably like day old baby chicks, the younger the better, and you can take them and you can sneak them other, under a mother hen and have her adopt them. And there are certain ways of doing that. I'm gonna be talking about that soon. But first, let's talk about uh, what you need before you even start with either process. The very first thing that you need, whether or not you are having your chicken sit on eggs or giving her baby chicks from the farm store or that you ordered, you have to have a broody hen because <laughs> without a broody hen, none of this is gonna work and they need to be broody before you give them the eggs or before you give them the baby chicks. Otherwise it will not work. Um, she will very likely just not have any interest in that. She needs to have that active, that instinct before you start this process. So you might be saying, well, what does it mean for a chicken to be broody? What that means is that they have the instinct to sit on eggs, incubate them, wait for them to hatch. And then once they hatch, she has the instinct to raise them as her little baby chicks. In general, bantam chickens are gonna go more broody than standard sized chickens. There are some standard chickens that will go broody. It really just depends on how they were bred, who was breeding them and what they were breeding for. So let's say that you have a hen that is definitely broody. She's been in the nesting box. She is getting super cranky at you if you try to take eggs out from under her. And she's generally just acting like a little tiny dinosaur protecting her eggs. And, and she won't get off the nesting box. That's how you know that she's got that instinct activated and she's ready to possibly raise, you know, sit on eggs and hatch out baby chicks. 
If you want to put eggs under her to hatch out, you wanna get those eggs under her as soon as possible. You don't wanna wait a few weeks. By that time, she might not sit on the eggs long enough for them to actually hatch out. And what I want you to do is get those eggs that you want to hatch, take a pencil, not a pen, not a marker, because that ink can bleed through the egg actually. I want you to take a pencil and mark that egg, put like an X on it or whatever you wanna put on it to make sure that you know which eggs that she is supposed to be incubating. Because she, if she's in the coop with the other hens, they'll come in there and they'll lay eggs in her nest with her clutch. And then you won't know if you don't mark them, you won't know which ones have been incubating for how long and it can get really confusing. So don't do that. Make sure that you mark those eggs so you know which ones are supposed to hatch. It takes about 21 days for the baby chicks to incubate in their egg and start to hatch out. If they're not all hatched out by the 21st day, I would just wait. The mother hen will stay on the nest until all the viable eggs have hatched. And it usually takes about 48 hours. When all the ones that are gonna hatch are hatched and they're all nice and fluffy, then she will leave the nest and go out and take them out into the world. But during this time, I would try really hard uh, just to kind of leave them alone, let mother hen do her thing, uh, make sure she's safe and everything, which brings me to another question that a lot of people ask. So a lot of people will ask, should I keep the mother hen and babies away from the flock to keep them safe? Like, is there a danger uh, with keeping them around the flock? Will, will the other chickens hurt the baby chicks? And unfortunately, the answer to this question is it really depends. It depends on the personality of your flock. It depends on where that mother hen is in the pecking order. It might be that she is very low on the pecking order and she just doesn't have, you know, a lot of assertiveness to her. If that is the case, I would probably have that chicken hatch out the baby chicks in a safe spot where there can be food and water, it's predator proof. She can see the flock, the flock can still see her, but the flock can't get to her. And then I would wait and just see how the other chickens are reacting, like when they come around that area, just see how they react to the baby chicks. And you can eventually let them out and just watch them really carefully and just uh, make sure that she is protecting those chicks. Most of the time, a mother hen is nothing to mess with, okay? <laughs> like all mothers, <laughs> she is nothing to mess with and the flock will know that. They'll be like, okay, she's got her baby chicks and we are going to leave her alone and we're gonna leave them alone. So let's say you don't wanna deal with mother hen incubating baby chicks. Uh, you don't wanna purchase hatching eggs. And one big reason might be that you really don't wanna get roosters in your flock. So you've got these, these very young baby chicks and you want to put them under your broody hen. Well, the most foolproof way to do this is to sneak them under her once the sun has gone down. Get your baby chicks, bring them home, put them in a brooder. You have that brooder set up. That is your contingency plan if something doesn't work out and she doesn't adopt the baby chicks. You wait until nightfall and you take those baby chicks, you put them in a little container or a little box and you take them near that mother hen. And what will happen is those baby chicks will start to cry. They'll start to call out for their mom. They, they're just distressed. They're, they're gonna be like, what is, what is going on? So they're calling out, help, help, you know, I, I'm distressed. And that mother hen is gonna hear them and she's gonna make a little sound. It's like a, it's like a little trilling sound. That is her saying, it's okay, come get underneath me. It's okay, come here, I'm right here. So when that happens, you take those baby chicks and you put, you slip them under, under that mother hen. And what she should do is just take take them under her wing, under her body, and you, you will hear her kind of communicating with them, okay? And once they're all underneath her and everyone's nice and quiet, you can leave. But what you need to do is get out there at the crack of dawn. I mean, you wanna get there like as the sun is coming up because you need to make sure she doesn't reject those baby chicks, okay? When she wakes up, it needs to be this thing where she's like, oh, these are my babies. And she's just acting like they're her babies and she's gonna raise them like her, they're her babies. But if she's pecking at them or she's kicking them out of the nest or whatever, 
That is not a good sign. You need to take them. You know, this is where the contingency plan comes in. You take them and you hand raise them inside, or maybe you can find, you know, if you have another broody, you can use another broody to raise those baby chicks. But that is how you do it. And it's actually really neat. Like when you first do it, a friend of mine told me about it. He was like, just wait until she makes that little trilling sound. And I was like, okay. And then she did. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. <laughs> you know? So if you try all this and it doesn't work and you end up having to put the baby chicks in a brooder and hand raise them, don't worry about it. You can do it. In fact, I have a whole playlist about how to take care of baby chicks, everything that they need, everything you need to know. It is right here on the screen right now. All you have to do is click on it. And guess what? As always, it's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're going to love it.